Dysfunctional discourses is about how we organize ourselves dysfunctionally. The only particular discourse that I figure that I have enough knowledge to say something about in particular is the drug problem. I used to be a drug policy researcher or research student because I never got my PhD. Um, and as such, I figured that I could corroborate very strongly the proposition that illegalization of narcotic drugs is a dysfunction of discourses. However, though the drug problem is the only discourse that I feel that I sufficiently well can corroborate is dysfunctional, uh, is the only one, there is still my suspicion that there are other discourses, plenty of them, that uh, are dysfunctional. One being that uh, money, as a measure of things, is allowed to penetrate our society and take control of uh, areas where it shouldn't be allowed to take control. One such, of course, being friendship, another one love, the third art, the fourth sport. There are many, many, many. Uh, but when you, when you bunch all these dysfunctional discourses together, even if I am not competent of arguing uh, that each particular discourse is a dysfunctional one, um, I feel it becomes plausible. And my second book in my series of dysfunctional discourses will not be about a particular discourse, as the first one was, the drug problem, but it will be more about why we organize us, ourselves dysfunctional and why we did it. Uh, this book is still in its infancy. And since... Uh, my knowledge is not as broad as it ought to have been. It has to be written pretty much in uh, an a priori style. Uh, dysfunctional discourses too. How and why 